Want to give you a live look at downtown Dallas. You know, we love our skyline. It's iconic. It's something that people here in the area take a lot of pride in, but actually that could be changing the look of it anyways. Check out this building behind me. This is what is going to be a big point of discussion today. Chris Adegui joining us right now in downtown Dallas. So city council is going to be taking up this discussion about changing the skyline with a brand new building. Yeah, Kara, it might look a little strange just because we're so used to seeing the Bank of America Plaza towering above the skyline. But if the city council does improve some incentives, its days at the top of the skyline could be numbered. Not because they're going to tear it down or anything like that, but because two new high rises could be going up if the council gives its approval. The one you're looking at right here is a 38 story building that would be built at Ackerd and Canton just south of City Hall. but. The other would be an 80 story building next to the Pro Museum, and that would top Bank of America Plaza by eight stories. The building would be occupied by Goldman Sachs, and the council could vote today on tax abatement to exempt them on the added value of the business for up to five years and up to 10 years for Hunt Realty. There would be some requirements for job creation and performance from the developments. The 38 story building you're looking at is a mixed use building that is also requesting city subsidies. We spoke to Councilman Tanel Atkins on why the city of Dallas would want to chip in to help these buildings be built. In today's time, private public partnership make great deal. And when you do a great public private partnership, you are investing in the city down, especially downtown. If we don't invest in downtown, the core of downtown, we're not gonna have a great city. And if approved, we're still not sure when ground might be broken for these projects, but Atkins says he's hopeful that it will begin sometime early next year. Mark, back to you.